Okay, hi everybody. <laughs> so this is my second time trying to record the video. <laughs> okay, so I have more exciting news. Yay! Okay, so I cannot believe I forgot to leave this part out. I don't know if you guys checked out my previous video, but um, I mentioned how I'm in a movie um, that I just realized is on Netflix. Now, before, in the last video, I was, you know, recommending that you guys check it out and whatnot, but now I'm demanding you guys check it out, okay? So, I can't believe I forgot to leave this part out. So, I almost, sh excuse my language, but like, shit a brick when I saw this, okay? So... I'm in a movie called Tricks of a Woman. It's on Netflix. Now, if you know anybody who has Netflix, you don't have to watch the movie. You don't have to check out the part. I'm in. I'm 43 minutes in. I'm in it for like 30 seconds. Um, you don't have to do any of that. But if you possibly can, check it out on Netflix. Just type Tricks of a Woman and just let the movie start. I couldn't believe it. So the movie starts, right? And you know how it'll say, like, you know, Universal Studios or, you know, such and such productions. Well, in Tricks of a Woman, all you see is an eye. And it's a big, huge eye. And then it gets smaller and smaller. And then it says, Osiris. And, of course, you know what the eye is. It's the eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus, and then the word Osiris, or the name Osiris, is the beginning of the movie. Like, huh, wait a second, like, I can't believe it. And when I get a chance, for those of you who don't know anyone with Netflix, or if you don't have Netflix or anything, I'm going to try to take a video with my phone. Um, or my camera, probably my camera, because with phones, you have those stupid lines on the sides, but I just can't believe it. I mean, you know, even if I do make that video, you could just probably think I edited it into the movie somehow, but seriously, check it out. Like, how crazy is that? I'm into all this Egyptian stuff, and all of a sudden, Osiris Productions is how my video is out, I mean, well, the movie I'm in is, like, produced out there. I can't believe it. I, it just blew my mind. I could not believe it. I'm still in shock. I just can't, and I can't believe I forgot about that, to tell you guys that. Anyways, so, this is another video response to my friend Adam Tone, and, um, I got some notes, but, um, I don't know, I won't be really, there's so much I want to tell you guys. Um, before I get into those, um, Adam, check out what I got, um, bargain price at Barnes & Noble, the ancient Egyptian book of the dead. And I was actually, I don't know, it was twelve ninety eight though, so ha, I know you got your bath statue for a dollar, which I was like, super excited about. I mean, I didn't pay anything for my statue, so I couldn't really, like, be like, oh, no fair, but that's pretty cool. A dollar, and I love the colors. I love how you have, like, the red and the, I think it's green. I love it, love it, love it. It's just, it reminds me, of, like, the Italian flag kind of colors, because I'm Italian, and I know how you mentioned, belt. you mentioned, um, strag, like, strega, or uh, whatever, and, um, you said Bella, um, you weren't sure of her username, and now I'm super curious, and I'm wondering, did you mean, um, Bella Ducati, I, I'm pretty sure that's her username, wondering if that's who you meant, um, but yeah, so this book is pretty awesome, I mean, it's just got amazing, amazing pictures, um, tons of, like, ah, big pictures like this, um, but you wouldn't believe it. It's just a big, huge book of spells, of Egyptian spells. Now, these spells were obviously written on papyrus. Or, yeah, that's how I say it, papyrus. 
and um, put in their tombs or their, yeah, like in their tombs um, out when they passed away, all these spells were written and put in with them, like with their bodies in the tomb. Um, pretty sure I would have, that's what it's called. <laughs> tomb. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I was kind of upset be at first because I got out of the bookstore and I was like, yes. This is so cool. It's like the ancient book of the dead, and there's probably so much stuff in it. But it's actually spells, um, just a bunch of spells that they wrote. And, you know, obviously it was translated and uh, probably a million times. And, um, you know, I'm not sure how I feel about it being translated, like if it was, if this is really what was written. I'm going to assume it was. But it's translated by Raymond. O. Faulkner with an introduction by James P. Allen. So, yeah, um, pretty freaking cool that I ran across that. So I want to show you that, and I know in my previous video I mentioned, or I was trying to mention how someone refers to the ancient book of the dead, the ancient Egyptian book of the dead, and it's Eileen Holland, and it's called the Wicca Handbook. <laughs> I could not figure out what it was called. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see this here, but I was looking up a spell on fame, I believe it was. I'm pretty sure it was fame. And, um, yes, it was! So I decided, because I was telling you guys, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in the previous video. I did edit it a little bit because it was 30 minutes long. But I had mentioned how I entered a contest um, with Ellen DeGeneres, um, you know, a few weeks ago. And then, you know, the next few nights, Fox News had that whole thing about Wicca and everything. And so, like I was saying, I had, you know, entered the contest and they ask you how you embody all these things. Um, just like life, you know, um, what is it, not qualities, but... You know what I'm saying. Um, and, and, um, so I answered the question and mentioned, you know, I do all that through my spirituality and how my spirituality saved my life and Wicca, like, just completes me, basically. So, um, so I decided, you know, I really wanted to win this contest and meet Ellen DeGeneres, like, extremely, extremely bad. Um, I love her, like, watching her in the morning, just, oh my god, it makes my day, it cheers me up, it looks like there's something on my neck. So, I looked up a spell on fame. Now, I don't know if you can see this, this is, this is her book, okay? So, I looked up a spell on fame, and it's on page 121, and right here, I'm pretty sure it's not going to show up backwards, but it says, fame spell, fame spell. Adapted from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Right there. How cool is that? So, not only does it have to do with fame, but, you know, it, there it is. She refers to it. Adapted from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Now, I'm sure there's more that, um, and then, like, I, I wrote in my book. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I'm sure there's more in here where she refers to it. So, I just thought that was really cool. Um, so, yeah. And then there's a couple other books here that I wanted to show you guys. Now, if you're just into Wicca and Witchcraft and, you know, you're done learning about it, I'm sorry, Adam. I'll get... I'll, I'm so sorry. Let me just um, tell you guys about this. Um, I haven't read this one, but if you just want to read a book, you know, that's not, like, all about the learning part and all the facts and stuff, and you just want to read a nice book, just having to do with Wicca, witchcraft, magic, whatever. This this is um called White. White is for magic. Um and it's a cute little book. It says I'm watching you on the back. I'm not gonna um read the thing right now because I'm trying to respond to Adam, but this I haven't read yet, but it just seems like a cute little nice book for white witches. But this is the one that I love. Now, um, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys that I'm not really into fiction. I'm kind of a nonfiction type girl and all that. But I do love, like, diary books. Like, whether they're facts, fiction, or fiction, nonfiction, whatever. The diary books 
I love, 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 love. Or like journal books, you know, where they write the dates. And there's so many books I want you guys to read. Um, but this one's a cute one. It's called Charmed and Dangerous. And this is an amazing book. I love it. It's so much fun to read. And it's like, um, like, let's see. Um, let me show you the first page. The first chapter. Um, so like this, the prologue, and it will, it says, you know, right here, Sunday, 5.30 a.m., and then Sweet Texas, but, um, like, where is it? Oh, I'm so mad. Where is it? It's such a good little book. Oh, right here. So it says, you know, Thursday, 9 p.m., and then Waxing Moon. I don't know if you guys can see that. Waxing Moon. Then she's in Norway. But she's a witch. It's such a fun book to read. Like, oh my god, I've read it a couple times and I love it. So those are just some... Oh, it says... It's by Candace Having, Havens. And it says, being a witch can really put a jinx on your love life. <laughs> so just another cute book. Now let me get to Adam. I'm so sorry. Oh, and I want to show you one more thing. This is a cute book I've had since I was younger. It says Secrets, and it's got a lock on it, and it's just really, really cute. So I wanted to make it my book of, ma like, my, you know, my uh, book of shadows, but I think it's just going to be, like, a cute little diary. So, Adam, I have, I, I, I thought it was so funny that you kept saying, like, you probably have it, or I don't know if you have it, but I have almost the same thing. Um, Judith Page, um, except it's invoking the Egyptian gods. So, before I get to that, I wanted to mention, um, what's it called? Uh, there's a couple things. I know you said it was snowing. Oh, my God. I missed the snow so, so, so much. But it was so funny how you were like, the college kids are out. Alert. <laughs> I thought that was hysterical. Um, but, yeah, thanks for the video response. Um, I was super, super happy. I couldn't believe it when I realized that you responded to me. Um, and please feel free, please, please, please feel free to share anything Egyptian, anything that you come along Egyptian. Like, please make, like, 200 video responses to me if you can. I love to hear about anything Egyptian. It's so nice. I was so excited. Like, I want to, like, make this, like, a, I don't know, like a once a week thing where we, like, just share our Egyptian stuff with each other. And then I'm sure everybody else would love it too. But um, but yeah. So um, yeah. Um, but the pathworking book that you have sounds way, way, way better um than this invoking one. I mean, you know, I I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking it would be really cool if we could like trade, like you know, like um just mail stuff back and forth. Like I'm sure you would, you know, we can just check each other's books out. I don't know if you're up for that, but. There was one thing I wanted to ask you, too, but I'll get to that later. So, and I loved your experiences. I loved hearing about your past experiences. That was so, so, so cool. Um, so, yeah, what was I going to say? And I go through phases, too. Um, you know, I go through phases and stop feeling connections actually a lot. Um... And, and I really like how you said you put the statue away. I think that's such a great idea because I don't put my statue away. Like, when I felt a disconnection with Bath, I didn't put it away. I left it out. So I'm kind of thinking of it now after you said that, that it's kind of disrespectful, you know, for me to have her out and not be worshipping her or acknowledging her. I feel like maybe that's why a lot of my magic isn't working and, and that's probably why I feel a disconnection. So I want to thank you for saying that because that's such a good point. Like, that's a really good idea um, for me to kind of put her away. Somewhere nice, you know, obviously. Um, and I want to say, too, like, your last video wasn't complicated at all. Like, I don't want you to think that you sounded like so, or that you made it complicated because you didn't, you didn't really necessarily make it complicated. I think you were just kind of like beside yourself which made you seem unsure and like 
you should, I just wanted to say, you should be sound more, or, you know, be more sure of yourself because you were totally right about everything and you explained it perfect and it's kind of really confusing. I mean, you've got, you know, the evil eye, you know, that people give you and then you've got, like, what everybody confuses, like, the evil eye with, like, the eye of Horus. Um, and then there's so many different names for the eye of Horus and, you know, I was just confused how the two come together, like what the two have to do with each other and um, and whatnot. And then I was also confused because you said, like, you can wear the evil eye. And I've never seen, like, a necklace or anything of the actual evil eye. So I was wondering if you knew where I could get it or if you've actually seen one or, or are you talking about just making one? You know, like, I'm just confused about, like, silly random things. But, um... Also, yeah, like, how the two come together, like, what they have to do with each other was more of, like, what I was thinking, because I associate them as the same thing. Excuse me. Oh, my God, I always get the hiccups when I talk. It's like I stop breathing or something, because when you get the hiccups, it's just you, your, you know, your body saying you're not getting oxygen, uh, or enough oxygen. So, yes. Yeah. Take a deep breath. But yes, what else was I saying? But yeah, how you were saying, you know, like the evil eyes inflicted on you through harm or witchcraft. I found that really cool because I never thought of it like that. Like when I say, you know, when people say they're giving you the evil eye or she gave you the evil eye, I think of it as nothing. So, um, you know, so yeah, I'm just, I'm glad I'm a little bit more aware of it. And the Italian horn that you had, I want one so bad. That's what I was trying to get to. If you can, I don't know if I could pay you somehow and you could, I could buy it if you can get an Italian horn like the one you have. I am like dying for one of those. I was actually, it's so funny, right before I watched your video response, I actually saw, I mean, was reading about the horn. And I think it's an amulet, um, an Egyptian amulet, I'm pretty sure. And I'm actually going to be doing a video on amulets. If you guys are interested, um, that video should be coming up soon. Um, I'm going to, I'm taking my dogs for a walk and then I'm going to try to do um, another video on my new channel. And then you saw, you said, you mentioned some, an I Ching coin and I wanted to see that too. And I'm very, very curious as to where you decided to put best, um, best debt. I like to say, um, and where you set up her altar and how it came out. I would love to see it because I'm still, I'm still moving my, my little basket around the house. I just can't find a perfect space for her. And there's three of her like facing directions. So I'm trying to find a perfect place so that one of the directions, one of her directions aren't facing a wall. So I'm having tough trouble with that too. But I'm just so happy you brought up the topic because I didn't really, I didn't know how to bring it about and make it interesting. So I'm really happy that you brought up the topic. And, um, and yeah, because like I was saying, it's kind of confusing. Um, so yeah, let me see. Was there anything else I wanted to say? Um, yeah, basically I, I would just love for you to share more stories with me or with us, all of us um please <laughs> and um just yeah please feel welcome to make another video response um oh yeah i want to say it's not weird that you gave her yogurt at all um or yogurt and cheese i actually thought that was cool because i um you said she liked it and i haven't tried yogurt and cheese but i did try milk i tried um whole milk and she loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. She really, really loved the milk. Um, yeah, so milk, you should try milk. Um, also, what was it? Oh, I don't want this video to be too long. Um, I took some notes down. Um, oh, I wanted to get her catnip. I've never got catnip to, to work with, so I'm thinking about getting some catnip and seeing if she likes that. But, yeah, um like fish or meat or eggs, um, what else, cheese, um, I, she likes, she likes all that, but mostly milk, but, um, I also gave vegetables, and what else, bread, or garlic bread, she really, really liked that too, so, um, but I'm also thinking about trying shrimp, <laughs> I think she likes shrimp, um, 
ham, tuna, salmon, um, let's see, oh, she liked green beans, um, baked carrots, and steamed asparagus. I wanted to try mostly the rest of those, um, but yeah, so far, you know, like, what's it called? I've given her meat, eggs, milk, and fish, so... Yeah, but yeah, so I just want to tell you that. And sandalwood, I know you mentioned sandalwood, um, was good for, like, all the gods and stuff. I definitely agree. There's, like, four, um, four instances, incenses, if that's even a word, that are, like, perfect. I mean, there's so many different types of incense, but sandalwood, there's four. There's four that are great for working with deities. And I can't remember all four of them, but I know sandalwood is one. I'm pretty sure frankincense is the other, and I think lavender maybe is, the, is another one, and I can't remember the fourth one. I know I'll think of it later though. But, um, so you said you work with ancestors, oh, um, fairies and animal totems and then the deities. So, and you said, oh, I thought it was so cool. You said you were attracting to, attracted to Egyptian deities way from the beginning, and Bast was the first one to call to you. Same thing goes for me. Same thing. And then you even mentioned the Greek Egypt um, deities, and I thought that was so funny because I was attracted to Greek too, like, because I grew up, like, learning about, you know, Greek deities, like, um, you know, Artemis and Athena, and also I really like the Greek ones because it seems like in Greek mythology, goddesses were really big, like, you know, when all the other, um, you know, stories, like ancient mythology of all the other ones, don't seem big on the goddesses, but everybody knows, like, Athena and Artemis and, you know, like, Greek goddess of the hunt, like, it just seemed like goddesses were huge with the Greeks. So, I have, like, a decent amount of respect for the Greeks. But, um, you know, Egyptian stuff called to me first, and... My Nana's just been in love with, I mean, she wants her ashes buried in Egypt. Like, she, so I'll be going to Egypt if anything ever happens to her. I'm going there to put her ashes there. And that's just, whew, it's just crazy. But, um, but I just think that, like, you and me are very, like, like, that's just, we just have so much in common. And it sucks because, you know, when, say, it's like, say someone says, you know, their favorite cereal of Captain Crunch, and you're like, me too, or Crunch Berries, Crunch Berries, it's got to be Crunch Berries, and you're like, me too, you know, it's not the same when someone says me too, because it's like, to you, it's like, yeah, you're just saying that you like it, you know, but like, it's just crazy, because like, you said, like, everything that I totally agree with, and it's like, oh, you don't even know how alike we are, because you said it first. So yeah, so um, and I can't uh, announce uh pronounce the their names either. It's such a pain. Like, and to me, that's not even really their name because it's just been like translated and stuff like that. And see, like, for now on, when I pronounce it, I'm gonna say it how I want to say it because I know you know people are gonna be like, oh, that's not how you say it. So I'm I'm always like saying it unsurely, but mostly like. I'm pretty sure I know how to say it, and I'm saying it right, but if I'm not, the way I want to say it probably isn't how you pronounce it, but we'll just start pronouncing it how we want. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, um, but yeah, you know, mine's about invoking, and yours is like pathworking and like guided meditation. It just seems like such a great book that I definitely want to check out, and I don't know if you're interested in this one, but maybe we could like switch or something, like send a box to each other, <laughs> um, that would be really fun, like, just random box of cool stuff, and then if you want, we could just switch again, I think it would be really fun, just surprise each other with some little cool gifts or whatever, but yeah, so, um, just Egyptian stuff, you know, um, there's so much more I wanted to say, I think I said it all, and Hecate, too, I was working with Hecate in the beginning, and oh, I thought you mentioned Quan Yin in your video, this is my Quan Yin statue that I love, but when I watched your video again, you didn't mention her, I don't think, so I'm not sure if you mentioned her or not, but I love Quan Yin, but you had mentioned Hecate and not putting them on the same altar, definitely don't do that, because I feel like Hecate is pissed at me now, and I know how you had said, you know, like, 
Bast is good for protection, and Hecate is good for, like, justice or protection, return to sender spells, and you're definitely right, like, Hecate was amazing for me, and it just seems like she's pissed at me or something, because ever since I brought Bast, since I got, you know, the cat goddess Bast in the house, she's, like, pissy or something, like, everything, um, like, my spell stopped working, kind of, so, I don't know, I might have to start working with Hecate, and maybe put that set away for a while, um, because Hecate was amazing, she did amazing things for me, um, in the beginning of my path, when I started, first started working with her, and it's funny, because I was called the best set, but I just never, you know, went to her, like, she was calling to me, but I never went to her right away, I chose Hecate, so, I don't know, I'm kind of upset that I kind of abandoned the Hecate, but... I don't know. That's all I'm going to say for now that I'm 25 minutes in. Um, but yeah. Oh, and that's the other thing I wanted to mention. Like this book, it's like, um, it's known, February was known as the blood moon. So I thought that that's why I was going through all my hardships because it was like the blood moon and blah, blah, blah. Or at least this book says it's the blood moon. Now, I don't know if anybody has this book, Moon Magic, but it says February is something else. It says February is known as, um, February, I'm sorry, February, February, oh my, God. ice moon or something, February is the ice moon, yeah, and oh, it's got Kuan Yin too, how cool is that, Kuan Yin for February, but it says it's the ice moon, it says nothing, it calls it right here, there's a bunch of different moons, but it does not say blood moon. It says that March is the blood moon. So that's the thing that I have difficulty with. Like a lot of reasons why I've had so much trouble learning the craft is because I have jumped from book to book to book because every book says something different. Now that's a factual thing. You know, like the blood moon is a factual moon. Like so how can one book say it's one month and the other book say it's a different month? Like, you know, I know every author has a different opinion, but that shouldn't be an opinion, you know? So, I've had so much trouble, like, growing in my path because I'm comparing every freaking book. It's not like, oh, let me just see what this author thinks and this author thinks of the same thing. It's like, I don't know. I'm just, you know, I just, I don't know. I just had to get that out there because I don't know if you guys agree or feel the same way, but it's like two books are telling me it's a different moon. Or, you know, like March is the blood moon and February isn't. So I'm like, great, which one is it? Because, you know, was February the blood moon and that's why I was going through such a hard time? Or is March the blood moon and now more of a hard time is going to continue happening? So I don't know. I'm all over the place. I'm everywhere. If you guys can give me any advice or help me in any way, please do so. And thanks for watching, and I hope you guys check out the movie. And check out how it says Osiris, crazy. And Adam Tones, you're awesome. Hope to hear from you again, and blessed be as always. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.